Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie at CameronMCNZ on Twitter, and I wanted to quickly show you how to install GitFlow on Windows. To install GitFlow, you have to first have Git installed. You can see I've got Git installed under C underscore tools Git. And then you need to head over to SourceForge and get the bin and the dependencies for new win that gives you some of the utilities that you're going to need in order to run git flow so that's just a very short download i'm going to open up my downloads folder here i'm actually going to copy these two files do a quick copy i got a little temp directory over here in my underscore tools folder i'm going to extract that content right there extract all of that here and there's two files that i'm going to look for i'm going well three files two dlls and one exe they should be in this bin folder right here there they are the two dlls and the executable file is getop.exe I'm going to copy those, then mosey on over into my Git directory and specifically the bin folder and paste those in with those three lonely executable files right there. Now, the next thing I need to do is actually clone the Git repository for Git flow. And I'm actually just gonna do that inside my Git folder, depending on your permissions, you may or may not be able to do that in your Git folder. For example, if it's inside of program files that might be a problem but it's not going to be for me i'm just going to clone the git flow repository recursively from github that should only take a second and then once that's done there will be a contributors folder contrib folder inside of that directory and i am going to run that in administrative mode through the command prompt. So run as administrator, do a little navigation to that folder that you extracted git flow into. Let me see where I am here. CD git flow and CD contrib, there we go. Now, if I do a little LS here, you'll see that there are a number of files in here, one of which is my MSY git dash install.cmd. So I am going to run that. And here we go. Let's see if I can type this in. And I didn't do that quite right. I need to specify the directory in which I've got git installed to, because of course it's not the default. So it's C underscore tools slash git for me. Should probably put all of this in quotations right here. And then we click the carriage return and then boom, all of a sudden we now have git flow installed on my local git instance. And now to prove that installation was successful, I'm just going to open up that window that I was in just a moment ago. And this is the window where I did the clone. And look at this. If I do git flow and ask for the current version, it now says I've got version 1.12.3. And a second ago, I didn't have anything at all. So there you go. That's how easy it is to install git flow on Windows. And there you go, that's how easy it is to install GitFlow on Windows. Now, if you enjoyed that tutorial, why don't you head over to theserverside.com. We've got lots of great tutorials on Git and DevOps and anything to do with enterprise software development in general. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ and subscribe on the YouTube.